are back in the kitchen and having a great time. We are here for a new installment of our series that we call Cooking with the Crew, and I still can't get this apron tied. Hey, I know, I know. It, these are the shortest yeah, like, the apron shortest, ties. Yeah, exactly. You know, they always tell you you tie them in the front. But you can't even yeah. reach around there, so I'm just going to hold maybe, it like Maybe this. they're telling us something that we need to maybe, like, diet more diet or something. More. Like, yeah. Well, that, I, your I dish do. today is going to help us, right? <laughs> so while we can't have outside chefs in the studio during the pandemic, we are having fun cooking with the crew. And today, of course, it is Ron Smiley's turn, yes. which is why you're here in an apron <laughs> and why I brought you half a box of pasta <laughs> early this <laughs> morning. <laughs> We're not going to use the pasta, at least in the soup today. So that's the good news uh, right there. So I do need you to do me a favor, though, okay? Okay. Once you can start. Oh, gosh. Gosh. Okay. Oh, All right. I'm joking. No, no. I was, I was about to say, you see the, the pumpkin squash, the, the butternut squash that right. I just brought to you. So I have pumpkin on the brain because I can't believe you guys ate pumpkin spam. Right. Just a little bit. Heather is right over here, by the way. Like she's right. I did. I did reference Heather right there. It's not an open mic. Uh, I am actually here. All right. Okay. So you want me to like slice this? No, up you really don't have to. Because okay. here's my first step. And uh, for first off, all of these recipes, if you head over to the Pittsburgh Today Live page over on KDK.com, you can get all of these recipes. So the soup was too complex. I can't do the soup today, but I can give you some like little tips to kind of okay. help you along. The first one is yes. You can use a butternut squash if you want to. Have you ever cut one up? No. Okay. But I just heard in my ear that it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it Don't is, do it. You do not want to do it. Okay. That was the joke right there. Okay. Uh, and so I actually did this kind of joke on my my daughter yesterday because she was helping me with the soup. And, and we have so a picture, could, right? Right. Yeah. We have a couple of pictures there. Um, well, this is her putting the oil in right there, getting the soup actually the uh, the the bar. <laughs> you can see her right there. Looks yeah. I'm like, okay, cut that up right there. So I told her to look a little upset. <laughs> but the best thing that you can do is actually if you go to the store, they already have pre-cut butternut squash. Just do yourself a favor. Do everyone a favor. Do your fingers a favor. <laughs> do everyone a favor. <laughs> right? Just use that. It, it, it's fine. It's frozen. It's going to taste the exact same way. Maybe someone out there is okay. like, no, it's not. So Good that's, tip, that's your first tip right there. Okay. Uh, so we're going to start with the uh, soup. And just like we said, it's kind of a shock and awe. So you know the shock part, right? You got you got to get out like your feelings when you're making soup, okay. and then the ah is when you get to eat the soup, correct? Oh, I'm following you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so that's why we wanted to bring the pasta in. I left the lasagna pasta because there is a lasagna pasta that's in the soup. Mm -hmm. But if you take some of that uh, the pasta out, just pour it on your plate real quick. Okay. And a lot of times you can put maybe like a towel or a napkin or something like that right on top of the pasta. Right on top of the pasta. Right. Okay. And you might want to do more than just one, maybe a couple. No, no, no. Like yeah. a couple yes. of napkins. A yes. couple of napkins, yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what I like to do is I like to either take like a hammer or something like that and to just like hammer all the pasta So you down. take dry pasta, Yes. you do this, and then you just smash it. Just smash it because you don't want to put the full piece of lasagna in there. And the first okay. time I made the soup, I thought I was doing a really good job. I broke it down into individual right. pieces, and it still came because once it soaks in all the goodness, it still gets really big. Okay. So this way, you get to take out all your feelings right. on some pasta there. Yeah, you can see right there. <laughs> it crunches it up where it's a really good size, so it's not huge in the soup right here. Okay. So we already have that done. Now, what you can actually do for me, David? Yes. Uh, don't worry, the oven's not on. So I have already mixed up the dressing that I made. The dressing just has some mayo, a little. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sugar in it, some salt and pepper that's in there as well. Okay, this um, is for the salad. And this is for the salad. So we yeah, moved over to the two salad. Different things. So you so can I'll use all this broccoli. Yep, put it just in there drop it all in there. Okay. So and then after that, what we are going to do is I want you to pour the pot, the pour sauce. Just in, pour it all on there. Okay, and then just mix it up. Yep, just mix it up. Okay. So all I did, just get some broccoli, break it up uh, about an inch thick uh, each piece, mm -hmm. put some sauce on there, some other goodness. You can put the cheese, just dump put, that all dump in there it all as in well. There? Yep. Okay. So I like dried cr cranberries to toss I do in too. there. Yeah. Right? Okay. And then I kind of cheat. Even though I do like nuts, I also just kind of add even more cranberries with kind of a mixture of some almonds. Okay, this, you, this whole bag, by the way? You can put the whole bag in there okay. if you want. It depends on how many cranberries oh, no, you like. I like so, cranberries. Let's you know, do it. I, I'm always, right, so, you know, as long as it's uh, not baking, just do what feels good, right? Uh, if it's baking, though, right, you got to follow. Be right, you got to be very, very precise. True. Yeah. You know, so, and then here's some nuts, some almonds, also 
with some okay. more cranberries because you can't ever have enough cranberries. Okay, right? I'm taking your word for it. I'm just going more <laughs> forward. But I like having the almonds because then you have a crunch to it. Right. And you know, there's something about textures in food that, yep. you know, it just makes it more appealing. Right. Now, I will say that the original recipe actually called for bacon, um, but if you guys know me, I, I don't really do bacon no, you anymore, don't do bacon. so I don't yeah. do meat. Um, and so that's something that I just leave off, and I think it still tastes wonderful. So I'm pouring out the soup right now. The <laughs> soup making has... a paper airplane right now. <laughs> <laughs> We've left her out, haven't we? Um, so I'm pouring out the soup right now. The soup has actually a white cannelli bean in it. Okay. And so, and then it has, you can see the pasta that's coming out there as well. Also, it has mozzarella cheese and Parmesan cheese that is uh, moving into this as well. So, so I'm just kind of So is this a recipe in. that you've sort of adapted and developed from like I the have. internet? Yes. Or this is not like a family thing? No, this isn't okay. a family recipe. This is me just at home. Oh, another thing with the soup too. I like to, I put, um, you know how soups are. With kids, they see all the, they, they want to look at it first before they eat it. You know, uh, put Adults it in do mouth. too. We, we do. I right. just learned that from having a blindfold <laughs> on during a taste test. <laughs> yeah, it does help if you look at your food before you stuff it in your mouth. Mm -hmm. That's probably good advice for anyone out there. But um, because we are looking at, because kids, you know, they'll, they'll see the onions. They're like, I don't like onions. I don't right. like all this. Right. So part of the recipe actually calls for you to, uh, blend up the butternut squash that's in here, um, but it doesn't call for you to blend up all the other veggies. Uh, I just say blend it all together. Okay. So before you put in the pasta and before you put in the beans, blend up everything blend else. It up. Right. So then the kids can't okay. actually see. I'm going to walk this over to Heather really all right. quickly. And I'm going to try this. Who's making uh, paper airplanes? You can see show Heather over there. Oh, it's nice and hot. Uh oh. What I did not do. I only what? have one plate here for the pasta, so this goes over to Heather. Yeah, let's give you can it just, to Heather. Right, yeah, yeah, you can just, you know, kind of like I can imagine it. what right. it would be like. No, you can stick your, you know, just grab one piece in there. <laughs> so That's and, really good. She says this that like it's really, really good. not good. No, like, it really like, is good. <laughs> I mean. No, I never thought that, I thought the pasta part was right, weird. Right. It's really good. Right, like, right. Like it's neat to have it in there. I mean, you guys just came from, uh, you know, pumpkin flavored Spam. Right. So, <laughs> you know, so we'll take that with a little, you know, but yeah, that's good. <laughs> this is great, Ron. Thank you so much for sharing yep. this. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thanks, guys. And look for Ron's recipes online at our website, PittsburghTodayLive.com. We have them for you right there.